Hey everyone, my name is Perry and welcome to The Gold Life. This anime, The Ascendance of a Bookworm, has been requested by quite a few people and I can honestly tell you I don't have a clue about what to really expect here. The title doesn't really give anything away and I've never heard of this anime until people were requesting it in the comment section and I'm just excited to see what this thing is all about. Let's do it. もしかしてこの世界の本って高い私の知る歴史でも印刷機で大量生産できるようになるまで本は非常に高価なものだった上流階級でなければ本を読む機会なんてなかったはずこの世界の本って高い私の知る歴史でも印刷機で大量生産でき
where are you gonna go? Like you have to go to an apprenticeship. There's no books to read or anything. There's no YouTube how-to to do whatever you want. It would make sense that there's a number system that exists alongside an alphabet because you need to have quantitative as well as qualitative information regardless of whatever time period you're in. It's only recently that we actually have a differentiation between numbers and the alphabet. Like going back to the ancient Egyptians hieroglyphics example, they would have specific symbols for numbers as well. And granted the symbols were different than the symbols for like their um, their letter alphabet, but it's it, it sometimes became difficult to differentiate if you're someone like today trying to interpret their work. Also back in the day, all these numbers which were represented by symbols were almost always shown in multiples of 10. And the reason that they would do this was just for pure simplicity's sake, but even though you had these multiples of 10, it didn't mean that you couldn't form complex numbers like 4,622. If you wanted to show 4,622, the way that the ancient Egyptians used to display that was they would have four symbols that were the 1,000 symbol, and they would have six symbols that were represented 100 each, and they would have them in like a vertical like graph or chart, and after that you would add up all the symbols in that one little block, and that would give you the number that they were trying to represent. Roman numerals showed up around 800 BC and they were just completely gone by 1300 AD and they were all replaced by Hindu Arabic numbers which is what we still use today. This was a very different anime than I'm used to watching. Like I primarily focus on like engineering and tech based animes or just TV shows and movies because I can actually apply my engineering knowledge to explain the science concepts that are going on. My impressions of this anime is that it's very okay. I, I wasn't really too keen on like, like it, it didn't really like hook me into what was going to happen next. I honestly don't really know if there's a plot. <laughs> like, I, I really don't know what's going on. And I mean, I would think from the episode one of any like TV show or I mean anime, manga, whatever it is, like you want to initially like hook the audience so they're interested in what's going on. But I, I honestly couldn't really tell you what's happening or if there's like, I, I really don't know. <laughs> what to expect next and I really don't have an interest to find out. My favorite anime is Naruto and I grew up with Dragon Ball Z and I can just from those it's, it's an entirely different change of pace with this bookworm one and it's just I, I don't know maybe it's just my personal bias like there's no one's like fighting or like Dr. Stone no one's like developing anything it's just I, I'm watching this anime and I'm like hoping something cool is gonna happen and then just nothing unexpected goes on. It's like it's not really my kind of my kind of thing. I don't have much interest in this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.